Hi guys, Dan here from Trojan Art Painting. Just wanted to give you a quick update on my aircraft carrier build. I was waffling between the John C. Stennis and the George Washington. And then, uh, of course, John came up with that picture of the Stennis and the illustrious steaming side by side. So, plus I accidentally opened up the Stennis instead of the Washington. So, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Stennis. Let's take a look at my computer monitor. I got the photo of the Stennis the illustrious there from my desktop background so getting in the mood when I start a project I like to have all the materials and everything in place and ready to go I don't like to have to run out and pick something up or or try to figure something out after I get started so I had a few things I had to pick up and I'll, I'll show you all those a lot of model kits come with these brackets or cradles to set your ship down into when it's complete I didn't really want to use that, so I was thinking about getting a wooden board, but I couldn't find one the right size. I didn't want to shop all the, all over the place, so what I did, I had this old display, this old acrylic display case, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the bottom of it, this bottom piece, and uh, sand it down a little, and and prime it and then paint it brown or blue and use it as the display base. Then Hobby Lobby I picked up these little filial dowel caps uh, three for a dollar ninety-nine. If I can show this to you without destroying anything. And what I'm gonna do just kind of glue these into position like so onto the acrylic base and then just set the model on top like that so anyway that should work pretty good and the rule of thumb that we generally use is the base is about two-thirds the length of the hole and you can see this works out about right so just a happy accident anyway I think that'll that'll work out just fine so anyway that's how I'm gonna that's how I'm gonna mount it to the display base. I also picked up some Tamiya masking tape from Hobby Lobby. Always good to have this stuff around. And I picked up some uh, Delta Ceram coat paints. These are like a dollar forty nine a bottle, so I mean you can't beat it. I didn't really want to use my expensive um, Vallejo paints and you know mix them in and, and spend a lot of use up a lot of paint mixing it to get the right color and go through you know fifteen twenty dollars worth of paint to get it right so I bought these and this is maybe what less than five dollars worth of paint I bought a uh, drizzle gray and North Sea to use to mix together to make my haze gray and then I got a uh, charcoal for the uh, non-skid on the flight deck so these three bottles should work pretty good then I just need a little bit of other colors for picking out details on equipment and things but these will these will take care of painting 98 percent of the ship right here that's about it I got my work area set up I'm ready to go first thing I'm gonna do there's some there's some mold lines See the mold line here, mold line here. I'm going to use a, a curved X-Acto knife to scrape it off. Then there's a mold line running down the bottom, which isn't so important. I'll just scrape it and then sand it, and then give the whole hole a real light sanding with emery cloth. And I'll be ready to, ready to start. This flight deck comes in three pieces, so I will have to do some some filling. I'm planning on using uh, Tamiya plastic putty for that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. You guys that are participating in our aircraft carrier group build, um, good luck. And the guys that are still trying to think whether you want to participate or not, you still got plenty of time. And we, we, we gave ourselves a month, but then an additional two weeks you want to order something in. And it doesn't have to be anything big like this. It can be a little, you know, tiny ten dollar, you know, one to twelve hundred. I don't care what it is. You can do a GHQ 
you know, one to twenty four hundred or whatever it is. I don't care. You can do, and it doesn't. And, and me and John talked. It doesn't have to be a historical aircraft carrier, but it does have to be an aircraft carrier. So you could either you could even do something like a dystopian wars uh, carrier, and uh, that would be acceptable. All right, guys. So keep painting, keep your positive attitudes, and I'll talk to you again soon. Ciao. No, really. Ciao.